Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Matt Cleverton, the director of instruction at the world-renowned Kingston Heath Golf Club. He's also the Victorian PGA Teacher of the Year. We'll be based at the Kingston Heath Golf Club in Melbourne, Australia, where he's gonna teach us a great bunker technique that's gonna help us feel more confident, consistent, and in control of our bunker game. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm gonna give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to get better contact, consistency, and control with our bunker shots. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Here we're going to take you through the fundamentals of the setup. When we look at the fundamentals, we're looking at our chest position and our ball position, and obviously trying to get that consistent and as correct as possible in order to get consistent and confident outcomes. What I have here is two sticks on the ground. You can use two shafts or alignment rods. And what I'm going to look at is I've placed the ball just forward of the perpendicular line, about an inch or so. From there, I'm going to place my left heel up against this perpendicular line. And if this perpendicular line we reference at 12 o'clock for the remainder of the setup, I'll turn my left toe out to about 10 o'clock and I'll get my club face open to about 1 o'clock. From there, I look to get my chest on this perpendicular line. That'll help me impact the sand in a consistent manner. So I've got my setup with my chest on the perpendicular line, club face at one o'clock, foot at 10 o'clock, and then from there, I've got about 60% of my weight on the left side or leaning towards the target. From here, I'm now gonna be able to create a consistent and confident setup every time I come out to practice. I'll be in the same position I was yesterday, today, and tomorrow. That'll help you with taking your practice to another level. In regards to the shaft angle, my shaft is just going to sit ever so slightly left of the perpendicular line. So from my vision, it looks like the base of the grip is just forward of the perpendicular line. Let's have a go. So I got my setup with my chest on the line, club face at one o'clock, left foot at 10 o'clock, 60% of my weight forward, and then I'm just going to make a turn. That'll help you take your bunker play to another level. Well, there it is. I hope you've enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful. Or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University skill assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent and in control of your golf game, I also want to personally invite you to join our 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. As a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes, and documentaries. Plus, you'll get member-only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel, tours, and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like myself, you can also join our members-only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson or you'd like to ask some questions, or maybe you've even got a suggestion for another episode. Then leave a like and a comment below and my coaches and I will do our best to answer them for you. 
And if you've got any golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon below too, so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.